Hey everyone, welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm Sina Kara Siboy, joined by senior writer Seth Rosenblatt. Hi, Kara. Hey, Seth. So today we've learned that a major medical group has mm. been uh, hacked yes. by some Chinese hackers. Yes. Tell us about the uh, the breach. So uh, the group was hacked by uh, unknown Chinese hackers using what's called an advanced persistent threat, which means that the group uses a variety of techniques to get at specific information. Uh, and they're not looking just to get financial data, they're looking to get specifics from whatever database they're going after. Uh, 206 hospitals were affected, uh, 4.5 million personal records. And this was Community Hospital Services, that's yes. the name of the group. Yes. And uh, how many states? Uh, I think it was 29 states. Okay, and the information that the hackers were after? Uh, it's not really clear. They didn't get anybody's medical records. Uh, it looks like it was just uh, names, email addresses, social security numbers, and that's actually enough. If you can identify, if you can connect them to other uh, similar addresses or names, you could probably uh, wind up creating credit cards in that person's name or doing other kinds of identity theft. Uh, techniques. So what if you're one of the people who has been affected, 4.5 million people, what can you do to protect yourself? That's a good question. Unfortunately right now I don't think there's a lot that you can do besides keeping an eye on uh, your name uh, as it appears um, you know, on the internet. Keep an eye on your personal records. Make sure that you, uh, there's no charges to your credit card, that no extra cards get sent out. Mm -hmm. Um, and just be vigilant, and it's, uh, it's a little bit scary, but it's unfortunately all that you can do at the moment. And it seems like there's nothing that these people could have done to protect themselves proactively even. No, and that's really what I think the big problem here is, is that this is another example of a company that has a lot of personal information that is not taking the necessary steps to protect it and to protect their customers. Sure. Uh, in this case, it's hospitals. Um, they could have been going after a specific senior executive. That's a very common uh, technique for uh, advanced persistent attacks, but honestly, it's hard to tell right now. So what do we know about this hacking group and what their motivation might have been? Like you said, an executive or just right. to kind of send a message to the American government? Do we sure. know any details? We really don't have any details on this particular group. Um, there's uh, certainly a lot of uh, news about Chinese hackers. Uh, they're not all the same group, and we don't really know anything about this one at the moment. Whether it's connected to their government or not. Right, exactly. Okay. So in the meantime, just uh, keep an eye on your information and... Keep an eye on your information. If you do have to go to a hospital, it's a good idea to ask them what they do to protect your information. Uh, it may not actually gain you any information, but it lets them know that you're aware of what's going on. Great. Good tips. Thank you. Seth uh, Rosenblatt, senior writer. I'm Kara Suboy. Thanks for watching the Inside Scoop.